When people think of YouTube, mm. it's Lali and Sibu. Yeah. Same words <laughs> of <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, I could not pulling yourself towards, towards yourself. Come on, yes. somebody. Do you know subscribe to this channel? Subscribe. And I watch this channel. Do you know what? It feels like I'm at a spa. <laughs> like, subscribe to Defining Uni Jersey. Subscribe to Zara. Subscribe to Zara. <laughs> Previously on Defining. <laughs> oh, what's up to find us right now we're walking in the streets of Hatfield it's your boy Dennis and Kango not the rest of the squad Norma looking real fresh there hey <laughs> <laughs> so right now we are off to Johannesburg we have a big filming day today we're going to be filming with Mo and Panza I hope you guys are enjoying the latest content on the channel but right now we're leaving these Hatfield streets. So Noma's busy saying that she hates it when people no, like, speak to her in emojis. Like what's the point? I don't understand. You you sending me emojis, but I understand what you meant by the emojis. I'm the same thing. I need you to give me words, communicate clearly so I understand what you're saying so that I can respond appropriately. What type of lover are you? <laughs> Good I don't question. know how to answer that question. <laughs> I know what I want and I expect I expect you to listen when I communicate what I want to you. Say what you want, tell the people, if they don't give what you want, you're wasting your time. Move on to the next person. That's it. What's really cool about today is that we have two young people joining the team, so a lot of people pull through. Hi guys. It should be on you. Uh, they reach out either through the gram or they know me personally and they reach out just to be with us during a filming day just to see how exactly it works and uh, what exactly we get down to during filming. It might be a really dope idea to give subscribers the chance to also be a part of our filming day provided that you can get to like Rosebank or wherever we film. If you think that would be a cool idea let us know in the comment section if you're interested holla at us as well. So we just made it to Perch offices where we film. This is Bussy, one of the managers. This is the squad. We just did a conversation, a defining love yeah. conversation. What can they expect? Man. Man, oh man, oh man. Oh man, you Maybe can. Yeah. someone got married or engaged. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you can just you can expect loss, um, yeah. you can expect love, mm. you can expect uh, more fans are more in depth than you've ever seen them. Yeah. I know a lot of people have been wanting to see the side of us, yeah. so if you watch our episode of Defining Love, you will get to know us on a much deeper level because of Dennis. So be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Like we've, we've never gone to before, we've never ever. gone to that level. Which and I are crying, we're just like sniffing, it's not, it's not cute, but you have to watch that episode <laughs> to find out. Oh. <laughs> uh, I could not. Are you doing this with me? Got Did you. This? Did you guys see the rings? Oh hey. my goodness! <laughs> I think I started 2015 with the channel, and you were one of the first people I really interviewed. Mm, I remember that day. In that interview that we did together, yeah. you said, I quote, I want to be the Trevor Noah of YouTube. What? Did I say that? I want to be the Trevor Noah of YouTube. I want people in five years' time to be like, Sibu's. So you see Sibu's journey. Is that still where things are going? Because when people think of YouTube, mm. Michlali and Sibu, yeah. same words <laughs> <and Pete. laughs> It's a very weird thing that I said back then, but I understand why I said it. I didn't fully understand who Sibu Banza was and who he could become. And I think I'm at the place now where I'm so proud of who I am and who I've become and you know who I'm dating. <laughs> Sibu is yeah. the guy who's like confident all over the place. I um, mean, then Sibu's just the quiet guy who likes to chill at home and game and be quiet and mm. I think I'm very proud of both those people but I like yeah. that I can become both those people. I can't wrap the video up without finding out how exactly is Sibu doing? How's his mental health going? Is, he, is it going better? So let me, let me tell you how my mental health works. 2017, um, I moved to Joburg and I started attempting to work and I was like dead broke, like broke broke. I was borrowing money to pay for rent um, to pay for food and stuff like that and that's where my depression was like at its highest. 2018 came and I started making like more money and I realized that I was just like 
not having access and struggling all the time. Like I would sometimes cry in the middle of the night because I was like, I don't know this month where I'm gonna get the check to pay the rent. And I don't want to move back to Cape Town because everybody's gonna look at me and be like, yeah, he dropped out of a whole UCT to go yeah. become a YouTuber and job. 2018, my depression like came down a little bit. What went up is my anxiety because I was working so much. That stunted me quite a lot because you can't just keep replacing one mental health issue with another. Yeah. What are you gonna do about making sure that you keep both at bay? It sounds like you've managed to somewhat take responsibility 100%. of your mental health, yeah. which is I think the hardest part of the journey is just being like, this is where I'm at, mm -hmm. but this is not where I'm going to be exactly. forever. Yeah. How exactly did you push yourself into that? That mindset. I think for me it was uh, taking responsibility. I think I was putting it on a lot of like the external factors in my life. Oh no, I have to work because my boss needs me to do A, B, and C, and now I'm stressed out. But then this year, what I realized is that I, from the get go, I say no. I I can't do that work. Mm. Learning to say no is actually one of the biggest ways to relieve your own stress. I'm 24 years old. I'm supposed to be enjoying these 20s. Yeah. But I think taking actively taking responsibility and saying. You know what the problem is me and then after that seeing what you have been doing to make um this problem come about and then figuring out ways to make it better and i think for me the biggest one was learning how to say no sometimes free time is not free time it's self-care time and just because i have that time open doesn't mean it's open to other people it's just open to myself the best thing about learning how to say no is that you indirectly learn how to choose yourself yes and i think that's the best part yeah so i want to wrap this up with five key mm -hmm. mental health tips. So number one, you said learning how to say no. How to say no. Number yes. two, I think that it's really important for you to have a safe space. Yes. And by safe space, I mean your ride or dies, your people. Yeah. The people who you, you know you can turn to even in the most deepest yeah. part of your depression or yeah. your anxiety. People you know you can just fall back on yeah. and they're not gonna feel bad about just pushing you up a bit exactly. or clearing your mind a bit because yeah. sometimes your mind is convincing you about things that aren't that true. aren't there exactly i think what's really helped me mm -hmm. because last year was really tough on me mentally trying to finish this yeah. degree school dude was... school i i <laughs> applaud you because i tapped out i was like there's no ways i and it was my final year i was yeah. gonna finish that year and i was like no I'm, I'm out. Peace out. So yeah. I, I applaud you for being able to finish that. It's not easy not at on all. anybody. Every time somebody like graduates, it's such a bittersweet thing because it's like you're so happy that mm. you've graduated, but you shouldn't have had to go through There's that. There's an aftermath. Yeah. There's an aftermath yeah. as well. So what really helped me was having that safe space, specifically an accountability group. Yes. So I have people that I speak to regularly and I say, okay, cool, this is where I'm at. Yeah. This is what I'm thinking about. And if I feel even this much anxious or yeah. this much insecure about yeah. anything, yeah. even Guababa, anything, anything, <laughs> anything. <laughs> yeah. I can actually yeah. meet up with my boys and be like, hey, mm. this is what's up. What's my number two, number yeah. three on your side? I think give yourself time away from everything and everyone. Sometimes you just need time to yourself to recalibrate and just relax, like actually relax. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people take free time as like time to go out with your friends and do things. But sometimes you just need to sit at home. Mm. Find the thing that you can do by yourself. Whether it's gaming, whether it's reading, what exercise even. Find that thing that you can do by yourself and relax and try not to think about everything. Number four is pulling yourself towards, towards yourself. yourself. Come on, yes. somebody. That really boils down to just getting familiar with yourself. Mm. Like right now, People always ask how I manage all the different stuff and the moment I get free time, I spend it with self. Yes. And I love my own company. Yes. I love just being in my own space yeah. because number one, I find myself really funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, you sound like chance. somebody I know <laughs> that I'm dating. I know so many people are so scared of being alone. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. And once you push that boundary and you just chill with yourself and you become your own best friend, Life is nice. It's very, very nice. It's nice. Too. When you like yourself, guys, hey. there's a there's a switch that goes off or rather on when you realize like how dope you actually are. And there's no turning back. Um, and then <laughs> literally there's no, turning turning, back. there's no sometimes you might be like, eh, but you'll never go back into that room. As soon as you come out of that room and you actually like, I'm dope and you know I can be happy sometimes and I'm a cool person and I'm a good person. Um, and even if you have your doubting moments, once you once you hit that switch where you realize I am me yeah. and like that's a really cool person to be, you're never ever going back there. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna yeah. leave number five. 
I mean, do, yeah. um, I think number five, number five is a sore pill to swallow, but take responsibility for yourself because people aren't going to do it for you. Um, people aren't going to actively try and fix the issues that you have. You have to take responsibility. Sit down with yourself. If it's writing it down, write it down. What's bothering you? What are you struggling with? How can you fix it? Whether it's school, work, um, love life, whatever the case may be, not everything is everybody else's fault. Yeah. And I think that's what I struggled with too, is I was like, Surely if I'm just leading my life, I can't be in the wrong. Um, but I think take accountability, um, be responsible for yourself, because not nobody's going to take care of you at the end of the day. You mm. have to take care of yourself. And I think when people start seeing that within you, people are more prone to, you know, help you. Yeah. Um, it's that saying, you can't help somebody who doesn't want to help themselves. Hey. And as soon as you start helping yourself, everybody's just there to, to help you become more of who mm. you want to be. That's number five. All right, Definers. Yeah. It's been a good time. Do you know, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe. And I watch this channel. Do you know what? It feels like I'm at a spa. <laughs> like, it's just... It's yeah, just relax, I'm like, relax, I'm like, relax, I'm like, calm. Yeah, See how we're talking oh. about self-care? What's defining? That Don't. is a form of self-care. It is... Hey! Come on, you're about to find me. You're like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm as you walk in. Hey, good man. Not to say Zan. Not to say Zan. That's it. Hey, subscribe to the fan and give me your yourself. Subscribe to Zara. Subscribe to Zara. <laughs> we love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Go watch more videos. Okay, bye. <laughs> Dude, you're trying to for real though. Every time we watch it, I'm Do you know what's funny actually? Pretoria, I think Pretoria is going to be the first city that gets hey. going to be. Yes, That's my theory. Pretoria, yeah. definitely. I think it's because Pretoria people are very loud. And they, no, music. loud as in they say. <laughs> I am there for the music. Like they're very loud and vocal. That's the word I'm looking yeah. for. Very vocal about wanting a meet and greet. Yeah. Guys, it's up to Dennis and Tato <laughs> when we come see you guys. What happens there? Because we don't know anything about Pretoria. Next thing we're just having a meet and greet on the side of the road. We'll open the Buddha Pussy Zuki. There we go. Play some music. <laughs> I'm ready, guys. You can get a six-pack of Benini. I'm ready. Girl. I'm ready. Focus. Oh, this must happen. This weekend.